Hey everybody, this is Doganaga Kid here, and today I'm gonna do a review on the lesser known but highly underrated Canadian uh, Canadian anime series, uh, Psychics or Psychic actually. Um, kind of goofed on the name there. Anyways, Psychic is about the trials, tribulations, and day-to-day -day adventures of Eric, Eric Needles and all of his friends, who are essentially students at the uh psychic academy where basically they go to school to become psychics in a town where basically superheroes exist and the town is divided by either the uh hero side of the uh, Splitsboro which is the city that's what it's called and the uh, superhero side of Splitsboro and the supervillain side of Splitsboro which basically, you know, yeah, the whole town is divided by between heroes and villains. And the sidekicks in this universe are basically sort of second class, sort of employees slash kind of overworked slaves to superheroes because the fact of the matter is that in this universe, superheroes are essentially all douchebags. Picture uh, a less shitty, uh, less uh, gory version of, you know, the Seven from The Boys. So, yeah. It's very much in the same vein as uh, The Boys universe, where every hero is an asshole. So, and the biggest asshole of all of them is Maximan, which is basically their version of Superman. Much like the whole Boys comparison, he's basically the Homelander, only slightly uh, more likable. So, at least he's funny, so... Maximan is this world's greatest hero. He's basically their Superman. And basically, Eric Needles, the main character, he's more or less the put, uh, the put upon sidekick uh, that Maximan sort of randomly grabbed from an orphanage. And he's like, Hooray! I finally have a new sidekick. Uh, also, uh, take care of all my business for me while I'm just go MIA and disappear for a couple of years or in the term of the amount of time. So, see ya. Literally. Matt, the whole plot evolves around Eric Needles going to school for the sidekick of Pammy to become Maximan's sidekick, while also his super, Maximan himself, is missing in action and basically has disappeared for no apparent reason, other than the fact that he just bailed on everybody. And he has to cover, uh, Eric himself has to cover his missing, uh, cover up his missing disappearances by, he's like, well, Maximan's gone, uh, I guess I'll have to cover for him. So he's basically keeping that secret from everybody else, uh, while attending classes for suit psychics. So there's that. There's also his friends. I would say friends, but seeing how this is very much a sadistic type of show, similar to Family Guy's humor, it's kind of sort of bashing on the main character. I, I I'm sorry, he's. Eric Needles is might as well be the Canadian version of Shinji Akari from Neon Genesis Evangelion because this guy, this one kid, can never catch a break. I mean, even his friends would turn on him on a drop of a hat if anything goes wrong and they'll just blame him for it. So, but his friends, because they're the only ones that actually hang out with him the most, and generally speaking, they're on this side until he fucks up, is basically, like, I'll go down the list. One is Vanna Glamma. Who is this hyper competent, snooty, alpha bitch Sora girl who's also one of the top students in the school and also a sometimes rival, sometimes one side crush on Eric, of Eric, who basically she can't stand him to a point where she outright tells him he, she hates him, but she hangs out with anyway because, you know, group dynamics. Uh, but she basically is sort of the foil to Eric. Where Eric's all bad luck and never catches a break and everybody despises him for no apparent reason. Vanna gets all the luck in the world, so balances out. Then we have Trevor. Trevor Trevor Trollmeyer. He is voiced by the same guy who did Chris McClain, Neptune, and um and various other voices for shows like Toll Drama Island. Um, 16, and Wish Fart, among others. He's also, Trevor, Trevor's basically like the idiot friend who's like getting into way into trouble and stuff, 
and he will always just is lazy. He's loud, obnoxious, but yeah, he's the best friend that Eric shares a lot of interest with, like video games, comic books, and stuff. He's also the son of Maximus Gray's enemy, Master Zox, who is that who is Trevor's father, and basically he's like. Sort of like a Jekyll High sort of situation where Maxter Zox is the evil personality of Trevor's father, Mr. Trollmeyer, that Trevor himself had no idea about the correlation between the two. And he idolizes Master Zox as a villain, but kind of is embarrassed by his dad, which is kind of funny. Who has no idea, like I said, has no idea that they, his dad and the world's greatest supervillain are one the same person. So there's that. And then we get to have the... Now we get to talk about my favorite character of the series, Kiriko. Kiriko is basically what I'm going to... Uh, she's sort of like the beta bitch to... Um, um, Vanna's alpha bitch. But she's also... Get this. The Yandere uh, uh, stalker uh, uh, with a crush for Eric. Yeah. She loves Eric to a, Eric to a point where she stalks him... Um, always imagining what we fictional weddings. Yeah, she's basically a Canadian yandere girl, which I love. Only she's Chinese. That's kind of awesome. And she's like the best character and one of the nicest characters. I, I, I obviously, oddly enough, you know when your show is like messed up morally, when the yandere girl is the morally just one of the group. And of course, there's other um uh, characters, villains, and heroes alike. Like, for example, Professor Papa Moose, who is basically the headmaster and main teacher of the Psychic Academy, who regularly sort of put their his students through the ringer, more, more or less, like, uh, more specifically, Eric and Trevor, as he more or less was a former villain who turned teacher of a Psychic Academy. So it's like, oh, you're a former villain? All right. And you're redeemed somewhat? All right. Who still has, he's very much like Dr. Octopus, where he's very much a reformed villain, but he still had villainous tendencies. I mean, the guy looks like like freaking evil greenish version of Professor X, complete with hover chair. And apparently, yeah, that sort of thing. Uh, there's also um, uh, there's also like characters like Mandy Destruction, who is basically a female supervillain who's having a crush on Eric as well. Who basically wants to be, uh, she wants, uh, she's basically born into a whole family legacy of supervillains called the Mass Destructions, who run a criminal organization on the supervillain side of town. But she basically wants, like, she knows that she's evil, but she wants to be good for Eric because she's in love with him. Very much a Catwoman sort of, uh, Batman sort of dynamic. Kind of. But yeah, I digress. There's also um, Maxima himself, who, basically, like I've said before, he's basically, I'll reiterate again, he's basically the Superman of this universe, but he's a complete ass jerk who, more or less, all of the, most of the major villains of the series, such as, I'll list a few, uh, Man Made, uh, Nocturna, um, the Wardrobe, uh, um, uh, dang, I, I was stumbling on his name, Grunk, uh, and various other villains, most of the villains in Splitsboro in the show all have their origins traced to being screwed over by Maximan, because Maximan is that much of a jerk that he creates his own villains, just by being an asshole, so, yeah, at least, at least, uh, mean of the, uh, the thing is, Maximan is kind of like the de facto sort of jerk and most morally repugnant character in the series, but everybody's idolizing him anyways because he got good publicity. So, there's that. But overall, what I like about this series is that it does the whole superhero academy dynamic, at least in cartoons, before anyone else almost, because, because you, let's face it, uh, My Hero Academia is basically one of the biggest animes right now, and it has Superior School as its main premise. But here's the thing, Sidekick did it first, like, like five or six years before My Hero Academia did. Hell, it came out at September of 2010. Um, 
sidekick came out that, around that time. And My Hero Academia didn't come out like six years later in 2016, which at least the anime. Which means that literally Sidekick beat My Hero Academia to the punch. Although, when you really think about it for a minute, uh, they both uh, came later than, say, Disney Sky High. And then X-Men beat everybody to the punch in the 60s. So, okay, in terms of, like, animated features and animated works, okay, at least in the Western cartoon sense, uh, Sidekick is one of the major... Uh, uh, shows when it comes to, like, Superior Academy shows. So, if... Also, one last thing about to say about the series is that its humor is very mean-spirited and very much a sadistic show, but it has great writing, smart humor, and it has pretty interesting characters and designs of characters, and more or less, like, a great... If you want to see a really funny but really fucked up sort of parody of superheroes and just have actual characters that you could both love, hate, and or be pretty into at the same time. I highly recommend Sidekick just uh, just because because you can catch all the episodes on the actual Sidekick website on YouTube where basically each season is divided up to as a profile uh like act like each character like Eric, Kitty, Trevor uh, Vanna, they all have their own YouTube sites, which is divided up to where they divide each season of. So it has three seasons plus the pilots of the various pilots of the show you can check out. So Eric, uh, uh, Vanna, Trevor Kitty, and even Mandy. Basically, if you're looking for Sidekicks, uh, the uh, Sidekick the series online, go check out uh, YouTube. And it has all the episodes. All the episodes and all the supplemental material, all the pilots, yeah, it's all on YouTube, and you can check it out for yourselves. So, yeah, that's been Sidekick, and uh, it's been, I could talk to you more, but I don't want to stretch out this video too much. So, uh, this has been The Organic Kid, and I hope uh, you'll uh, like this review, and I'll see you later.